Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sierra. I am here today to do my planner collection video. I am super excited. I've wanted to do an updated version probably since June. Um, I amassed quite a larger collection after COVID hit. I don't know if I want to blame it on COVID or maternity leave or stress, but um, it is what it is and I'm going to embrace it because I love it. Um, I've got Evelyn over here. Uh, for those who are new to my channel, um, my name's Sierra. I live in Omaha, Nebraska with my husband. We have a four-year-old and then we have a now three-month-old. Um, I've been on maternity leave since May 18th. Um, and I'm an attorney. I'm in-house at a Fortune 200 company. Um, I've been practicing for about eight years. Um, so since graduating law school in 2012. So it feels like it hasn't been very long, but it actually has. So I, I always have to, like, it surprises me how long um, I've been practicing law. Because it still feels new every day. Um, I swear. So I'm just going to jump right into it. If you've watched my other planner collection videos, the purpose behind this, at least for me, is number one, to document my collection, share with you all, because it's not possible for me to take pictures of every single planner um, that I have and post it on my Instagram, but also just get you familiar with the different models and so forth. Um, it, I feel like it's hard sometimes to see the differences and have them like next to each other so um hi there miss evelyn hi. oh um so first up is the lotus and the lotus is a napoca leather vegetable tan leather from Gilio. this is a pocket campagna and um the pocket campagna is basically the signature, I would say, like their signature model um, from Gelio Forense. They have uh, several other models, of course, but this is like, I feel like you can buy this and it's gonna get you by in almost every situation, um, if you're a rings person, I should say. So the Lotus is a light pastel pink. I'm wearing like Barbie pink on my nails. Um, to do a comparison to Parm or Parme from Vanderspeck, okay. this is what you're looking at. So, sorry, my knee's in the picture, but oh well. Okay. Um, I really think they're rather similar, but um, this has a different texture to it. This is a buffalo leather. I'll get to that later. Touch Me Leather is buffalo, um, whereas this is a cowhide. Um, but this is pretty old. So I bought this off by sale trade and I want to say it was already a couple years old then. I've had other lotuses. This is my only lotus I have now, so I can't do a comparison. If you want to go back to my previous planner collection videos, um, I do have, I did have an A5 Mia Cara in lotus, you guys. Talk about just like um, jackpot but also like it's a ton of leather and wasn't necessarily all that functional for me personally um so i say that because i do feel like lotus lightens up and loses some of her color after a while i mean that's to be expected i'm not sure what the previous owners how they stored her or whatnot but i am careful not to leave her out in direct sunlight for you know extended periods of time so she does stay in here when i'm not using her um, I, last time I used her was in May, uh, right before baby was born. Um, I got her out because I started to realize leading up to Evelyn coming that I wasn't going to be able to carry some of these larger notebooks around while I'm nursing and all that. Um, so she, the Campania always has a back pocket. This is 16 millimeter rings and you'll learn um, when I show you the XL that... Um, 16 millimeter rings are really hard to deal with um or really hard to be to be functional for a lot of people so here's the difference between the xl and the regular campania rings you'll see you're going to get a lot more um umph and a lot more pages obviously in the xl and so 
Uh, I just want to point that out that for a lot of people, I don't know how functional these would really be. Um, they're the same size of rings that are in the Miyakara. So they're the same. Um, the Miyakara obviously just has like a ton more girth to her um, and I'll, I'll go through her after I do the XLs. So again, the Parm, you got three card slots, which is nice. You got two secretarial pockets, which I find really, really nice. Um, I love secretarial. You'll have the pen loop and I love her. I love this little uh, Lotus. Um, I got her August of last year. I was at it like on vacation and it popped up on buy, sell, trade. And I jumped on her, even though I was like in Florida in Key West and she showed up before I even got home. So it was perfect. Thank you, Diana, for that. So I have two XLs. Um, this one's really new. I just got her uh, a couple months ago, but I've had this pocket XL and purple Apoca. And you guys, there's definitely videos of her on my channel. I've had her for a while. So these are pocket XLs. When they say XL, they design the XL to have larger rings, to fit larger rings. So it's just a little bit wider to allow for the um, to allow for the extra rings so that it doesn't have overhang. XL is otherwise there's nothing else. I mean, there's nothing else different about it. It's um, by, by the way, the Campania comes with a flyleaf, my Lotus flyleaf. I don't know where I put it, which is, I just kind of freaks me out right now, but I'll find it later. I know I didn't get rid of it. Um, so I got her in October of 2018. So I've had this, this is probably one of my longest um, planners that I've had in my collection besides my Black Croco B6. I think I've had longer, maybe one other one, but I used her for a finance planner. I've not taken any of the inserts out um, for over a year. And so I love this planner. I think with the larger rings, it's far more functional and you just like, it's just a really nice size. Um, still, I mean, you're not gonna fit like a whole year's worth of inserts in here and anything else, at least in my opinion. So um, it's still small, smaller rings, but definitely more functional. I do want to show you guys, give me a second. Did I bring her? Oh, here she is. I already had her out. I have another purple Apoka and you'll see that the XL has a little bit more of a cranberry feel. So I think that's kind of neat um, just to see how the different batches are and how the different leathers patina and so forth because a5 Campania is a little older. I have used her for almost like all of 2020 at least because um, she was my work planner until COVID hit. All right, so I just want to show you a comparison. So again, Purple Apoca XL, um, really beautiful planner. Probably, probably one of my favorites. I know I say that a lot. Why? Oh, oh, baby girl. I think actually this was supposed to be in there. Oh, well, I'll fix it later. And then I recently bought this. This is a Fuchsia Ostrich X. So it's a ostrich leather, Ostrich X. I'm gonna have to pause and come back. Um, so it's the same as the purple Apoca, but it's an ostrich. It's not a full quill, meaning it's not quilled all over. It's parts of the leather that didn't have quills on it. And it, because of that, it has a crazy amount of uniqueness and character and she's super soft um and vibrant like bow like wow it's so pretty um try and show different comparisons because she really is quite gorgeous um you could pair her with so many different planners and um definitely the black that's kind of sexy not gonna lie um here's the parm I even have, like, I got my Louie out. Um, I think that's really pretty, too. So, um, again, comes with the flyleaf. This is from Kubo and Lucy. I just saw it in match, so I already put her on. But the Ostrich X has this, like, covered for the um, zipper, and I think that's really neat. You don't find that in um, the regular Campanias, but you do find it in the Pocket XLs. So let me let me show you. 
So the Pocket XLs, for whatever reason, have that cover. And people would be like, well, who cares? It actually ends up being a little bit of a fancy addition, I'm not gonna lie. It means that it's not gonna rub up against your planner or the other parts of the leather, and it's really, really nice. Um, so just kind of an extra little uh, thing to notice uh, that's different. So I really like her. I was probably gonna make her a finance planner because you'll see my Vanderspeck is getting way too big, and so I'm gonna take the finance part and put it in here. Or at least that's what I'm considering. So, because if you have just one section in this Pocket XL, I think it'd be really functional. You know, if it's a section you don't need with you all the time, or you do need it all the time, so it's easy to easy to um, swap back and forth. So, so then next up is the Pocket Miyakara, and you'll see all um, since I have this one set up all the way. I mean, it's still, it, there's a chunk to it that you're just, you know, you either love it or you hate it. But look at the difference in these two. You have a much wider strap, which I think is so much more attractive and beautiful. Um, I like this one, but I think the thicker one, it just has such a different feel to it. And the Miyakara model is much different from the Campania because it has this cover that comes out. And people will say, I just carry this around. And they never use this. And that's fair. Um, I've used mine, or I've been trying to as much as I can. But, you know, I get why you would just divert to this. Because it is such, a, there's a lot of leather here. And this is just a pocket. So this is the undyed leather. And when you say undyed, it means it has not been treated at all. It has no dyes, um or other, other treatment to it. So it is gonna patina huge. And I actually leave the, for whatever reason, my habit is to, come here sweetie, it's okay. My habit is actually to um, like leave it unbuttoned. So, but still you'll see the differences in the patina from the areas that don't necessarily touch sunlight very much to those that do. Um, she'll scuff. You'll see the scuffs, you'll see, like, I spilled water in the diaper bag, I have her in there. I do not baby this planner, and I've had her literally since, like, maybe a week or two before Evelyn was born, so it's been fun, because I've been, she's, like, living with us, she's growing with us, it's this, it's this story, it's this adventure, and that's what's so neat about the Undyed. Um, I do say this, this is Sierra's, like, tips, take them or leave them, you know, I'm not gonna be offended. If you're gonna buy an Undyed, be prepared that you're gonna have it forever because it's gonna be personal to you, it's going to grow with you. Now there is such a huge market for it right now, this is August of 2020, <laughs> um, that you could sell one that's been, that's patinaed a ton. I think there's a market still for that. But when I buy the Undyed, I kind of just assume I'm gonna keep it, that I'm not going to try and sell it um, because it is gonna be a part of me. So with that said, I do have one more in dyed. This is hands down the most, she's like grabbing my finger. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Sorry, girlfriend. I have this in dyed and you will see, I have not taken her out. I have not lived with her. She is so special to me that I have li like largely kept her at my desk or in the dust bag. Um, but she's still Pantina a little bit. Like, that's just how it works. So this is a personal ride, by the way, uh, Campania. So you'll see, that's just how, like, widely different um, the, the undyeds can be. So I just wanted to show that to you. I'll leave her out because I'm going to talk about personal rides in a little bit. Um, so, yeah, the Miyakara has this really neat pocket up here. I put cards and receipts in there that I need to keep for my business. Um, I have some neat notes in here so you, there's an, another pocket pocket right here you could also side like an a6 apunto back here um there's a pen holder here you're not going to see a pen loop so that's a huge difference um i just put my pen right here i learned that from renee at renee renee's planner piece um put my my pen here i clip it here or i just don't i mean it's in my purse so i have a ton of pens already i have cash back here along with maybe a receipt or two. And then I have a bunch of card pockets. 
So I actually use this as a full-blown wallet, and then I have just note pages and places to keep my goals and so forth. It has, uh, I do use a page lifter here. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's, there's six card pockets, and then I have my info cards here, really easy. So again, you got this notebook cover, and then this inside binder, and it's really functional um, if there you have a specific use for it that doesn't include like every single thing you're planning or you're just a kind of more of a middle minimalist planner where all you need is are some weeklies in there and then i think you could get by like if you were just doing weeklies and like a couple of notes pages but you're not keeping a whole year in these rings they're just too small compared to the 20 millimeter in the xl so she i'm using right now so leave her out I tried A6 uh, probably 2019 and just never got into it. Um, I don't know why. I don't have necessarily a reason, but I didn't sit there and try and like figure it out either. So, all right. So next up is the Medium Campania. In Julio world, Medium is a personal size planner. And in the planner world for, I mean, there might be some people who disagree with me, but for the most part in the planner world, um, the personal size is a very classic size. It's, I think, the most popular size it is in my shop. So I can use that as like actual statistics. Um, I do have more people purchasing the personal size than any other size in my shop. Um, so I have several personal size planners, but I only have one in the medium Campania. I have one in the Mia Cara. Oh my gosh. I knew I was going to forget one. I do have a pocket. I'm trying to hold Evelyn at the same time. You guys were like, show the baby. It's like so hard to film a video with a baby. <laughs> um, because she can't sit up by herself, but she's a cutie. So I do have the pocket Mia Cara, which is the same as my undyed, just in black Croco. And boy, guys, is she, she is so sleek so classic so gorgeous and she literally looks unused i got this used um i do not think she was used it she is just gorgeous look at that pattern on the so i do plan on using her probably when i go back to work um i think she will look really nice like on my desk at my office I'm not gonna lie so she i don't think i had there's a couple planners that did not come with the boxes if i bought them used and so uh, that's just one of those you know, you know, you, you want to buy it with the box just because you then you'll have something to hold it in. And I think it has a little bit higher resale value, but, um, you know, sometimes it just doesn't doesn't work out that way. So. All right. So then this is the medium Campania in a polka leather in the lila color. Hi, Liam. And again, it has the fly leaf. I did choose. I bought this directly from Julia's website. Um, I did choose the 30 millimeter rings and so I have 30 millimeter in my oops sorry in my personal wide um but if you choose 30 millimeter in the standard medium Campania you are going to have a titch of overhang if you have side tabs so um I have side tabs right here of course I have the flyleaf in here here let me take it out so I can show you I think it's important I think you guys this will be helpful to you guys. Um, you'll have just like a titch of overhang. And I don't even have all the inserts in there. Like just imagine if this was stuffed. So it is really me more meant for um, top tabs. And I, I'm i not using this right now. I put some inserts in there um, to take pictures for my shop because of these new inserts. But, oh no, it's okay, baby girl. But um, it really is more for top tabs. If you want to have a medium or personal Hi. size planner from Julio and use side tabs and you want to use 30 millimeter rings, you need to buy the medium Campania XL. So just like they have an XL planner for the pocket, they have one for the medium Campania that makes it a little bit wider. I love the Lila. I think it pairs well with a lot of different colors. It's a vibrant, but it's also very like lush and I would say very saturated uh, lilac color. Um, so the, this is the medium Campania, not the medium, not Campania, oh my gosh. This is the medium Mia Cara. So this is the same model, Mia Cara, Mia Cara, but in the personal size. 
And just, just imagine if you had an A5 size planner in the Mia Cara. You are talking a ton of leather, um, but you're already, this has already put on a ton more weight. Um, but it's perfect. It's perfect if you want to carry it everywhere or um, if you want to carry the notebook cover everywhere. I used to use an elastic around here, a fun elastic from Russell and Hazel, but colorful. Um, and just leave, or just leave this whole thing at your desk. And I use this for all, gosh, I'm still using it because I have all my shop stuff in it right here. Um, and I was, I was using it as like my only planner during COVID quarantine before Evelyn came and you know, my life changed drastically. So I, you know, I could have dailies in here. Um, I do have 25 millimeter rings in here. I do not, I did not swap out for the 30. Um, Julio has these Krauss rings that allow for a really easy, quote, easy, <laughs> um, it's nerve wracking, but once you get used to it, um, you can swap out the rings. And so it's, it's okay to buy a planner off by sell trade like this one I got, um, off Instagram actually, and just easily swapped to 30 mil 30 millimeter rings. But I did not do that with this one. I just felt like I had plenty of space already because the notebook cover is a little bit more forgiving if you want to overstuff. Um, there's no po there's no pockets on this side of the notebook cover, but again, you have pocket here, you have a pocket here, um, you have a couple of card slots here, three of them, and then a little, I would say business card, but just perfect for a little, you know, decor or cards that you want. And I use put stickers in here, my business cards. Uh, I have a check like I always do because I never can find checks. Um, Fun little spot for no, for post-it notes and, and other uh, notes. I do, since I have you guys here, and she's behaving, sort of. <laughs> you can fit a medium, or not a medium, oh my gosh. You can fit a mini happy planner in here, you guys. So this these are three-fourths three inch rings. So you can definitely go bigger. Um, and look, it fits beautiful. It fits really, really well. Um, you, I would go with bigger, bigger discs, honestly. Um, sorry if I said rings earlier. I can't remember, but I would go with bigger discs um, if you were going to use the Mia Cara notebook cover. But again, what a versatile notebook! What a versatile planner from Gilio. You can swap out and use it for different things. Um, I have my medium or my mini Mia Cara in my Louie right now. So, all right, I'm back. So I did want to show you another way you can use the outside cover of the Giulio Mia Cara, and that is by putting a B6 sized notebook in there. Um, you really could, you really would almost need to put two because you have so much room. This is a B6 B6 Stology, and I do have. I'll just pull all of my notebooks out. I do have a Z-Quins. I'm using a Z-Quins right now. This is a much thicker notebook, so just for comparison. But I just want to show you how, if you had a thicker B6, you could honestly fit both in there. Maybe not the, oh no, you could really do it. Um, or I have a, another like smaller B6 I'm using. I'm using this um, just Tomoe River paper. It's bound, it's from Paper Penguin Co. on Etsy. Um, it's perfect, honestly, it's perfect. So, you're looking at a higher price point. You're looking at a much higher price point for the Miyakara than the Campania, but just think about all the different uses you can, um, you can have. It does come with a leather zipper pull, which is different. You do not have that on the medium Campania models. Um, you, you're still getting the back pocket. You're still getting just so much um, functionality, yet, you know, you, you don't necessarily have to use it all at the same time. I am. Um, it is sitting on my desk or in my, um, I have my like planner pa planner carrier thing right now out here with me. I have her in there, but, um, so that is the Mia Cara model, but in the medium, in the medium size. I mean, you are talking just, I don't know, 
I had this planner, I have a flip of it from like 2017, I think, and I sold it because there was an entire year I was, no, I was not in medium and I was like, why the heck do I have a medium sized Mia Cara that I'm not using and haven't used for a year? So I sold it. I regretted it, not gonna lie. So I did find this on Instagram um, and I'm really happy I did. I just missed, I missed this planner and that's really, I don't, I can't really say that about any of the other planners that I've had and sold. Um, so I do want to talk though, this is the first planner that I've showed out of all the different planners. Um, I guess besides the, oh yeah, the mini me. Oh, it's so cute. Um, the pocket Mia Cara. Um, so with, this is the first one, I guess, besides the pocket that is a, the Croco. So this is a black Croco mat. You'll see several other black Croco leathers that, or Croco leathers, sorry, that Jillio offers. Um, these are still cow leather that have been printed the Croco pattern. So this is not real Croco leather at all. Um, and so the patterns will change. Planner to planner, the patterns will change like wherever the stamp was on the leather and where they cut it. Um, I, you just kind of come to learn what you like and don't like. Um, but you'll see, I, you know, I always look at the strap whenever I'm looking for like what batch or what, um, you know, if I like the pattern, I think the strap is kind of a, a really kind of neat place to look to see if you like, cause that's where you're going to be look. I just naturally gravitate towards the strap. Um, so anyhow, just wanted to talk to you about that, how it is different. There is a shiny Croco leather. I have not owned one of those, so can't speak to that. Um, and then there's like the charcoal mat and some of the other matte leathers that are more of a suede. This black Croco, when you see black Croco mat, it is really more of a shiny leather, but it is squishy um, depending on the batch. I've heard some of the later batches um, are different. I've not owned one of those. So I can't speak to that, but, um, you know, it's just something to be aware of that. Like there are, you know, it says matte, but it's not necessarily matte. It's definitely more, and you can see it in the, in the light. So anyhow, this is probably my favorite. Um, I, as you'll notice from my collection, I'm much more of an Apoca gal. Um, I like smooth Apoca and I like ostrich. I'm not a huge Croco person for some reason. Um, even though I do have go through phases, so just interesting. So those are my two medium sized planners was the Lila or the, you know, the Lila colored planner and the medium Mia Cara and the black Rocco. All right. So then I'm going to move on to my B6. So I have two B6 colors, um, two B6 planners. I am in this one hundred percent right now. This is the B6 Salmone ostrich and it's not full quill. It is Ostrich X. So again, there's just quills on parts of the leather making a beautiful pattern, um, very unique to you. This is the B6 Apunto. So the Apunto is um, another, is, so it's not a ring planner. It's another one of Julio's models and it is only meant for to be a notebook cover. So I have it in the black Croco I've had this one like a long time. You can see the, the patina on the button. Um, and then I have it in the, the Salmonet Ostrich. I, you'll see once, you know, if you use it for a while, the, it starts to curve in. I love that part of it. Um, I've only had this for like maybe a month or two. I'm terrible. I can't remember. Um, but I was just making sure it was filming. Oh my gosh. It's like heart attack. Um, it carries a lot. So again, a little bit less space than if you would just use the Mia Cara um, outer cover, but it still carries, you can fit two Stologies in here. And I have, I would carry a Mark's edit and a, an Astology you can see in my prior videos in this. So definitely very functional, um, two very different colors. So I can swap out and depending on my mood. So, Liam, you want to say hi? Hi. Okay, you're <laughs> so cute. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you those. I love the Apunto. They come in A6. They come in A5. And that is a good segue because I do have an A5 Apunto. I don't know. Isn't that pretty, Liam? I lifted it up. 
So the A5 um, I've been using for my work planner. This is the Purple Apoca. And I used it at work. It sat on my desk. It was never home. There's very few pictures of it for that, you know, that reason. It just wasn't at home with me. It was at my, you know, at work. But the Apunto, um, I should mention, it doesn't matter what size, has the back pocket still, and it also has these two bookmarks. Some people will cut the bookmarks out. I keep them. I actually use them. Um, but it has a pocket back here, a zip zippered pocket. Again, um, the Apunto, again, is very versatile. You can put any notebooks in here. Um, I have a A5 Stology and then a Jayu style. Just It's just a monthly planner. Um, it goes through May, which was perfect because that is when... Um, I was due with Evelyn. So, you get the leather zipper pull on the Mia Cara. Um, but you'll note on the pocket, you don't have that zipper, that zippered part um, on the pocket Mia Cara. You, you have it on the uh, larger models. So, that's just kind of a FYI difference in the, dif in the different sizes, um, although they're the same model. So this is my only A5 Apunto, um, but I have three Apuntos all together, the, the Salmon Salmone and the Black Craco. So all in all, um, you know, if I had to gravitate, I don't necessarily find myself gravitating towards this A5 Purple Apoca, despite absolutely loving, like absolute obsession with my Pocket XL Purple Apoca. I think it's the color, I think it might be the, this one's like pebbly, do you see that? I don't know, I just, for some reason, this is like just super pretty to me. Um, the only one that I have not talked about yet is the personal wide, and you can just see, so Jillio's personal wide, ends up being more of a square. It's more of a square than say, if you would customize your own through Vanderspec. Um, this was a custom that I got from Bicel Trade. It wasn't necessarily one that I did, um, but I, I'll pull out my other personal wides. Um, this was gifted to me. I did a review of it. You can find that video um, on my channel. But it's more of a square, so that's just something to be aware of. I don't mind that. I think it's it's cute. I think it's, you know, aesthetically pleasing, but I, some people don't like that for whatever reason. But the personal wide inserts are 4.75 by 6.75, so you've got that whole other inch beyond what you'd find in a personal size planner. And um, the reason why I say I love this planner so much is because it was a gift, and it was, it's incredibly special to me, um, just hands down. But it's the Campania again, which is awesome, but just in a personal wide size. So you get the fly leaf, you get the zippered pocket, um, you get the secretarial pocket back here. In the personal wide, you get eight card slots. Um, you can fill them with all sorts of fun stuff. Um, business cards, you know, deco cards, info cards. It does come with the back pocket. Um, it has this like slip pocket right here, which is really neat. I love that. Um, I do have the 30 millimeter rings in here and you could really, I mean, look at how much extra room you have. You could fill it even further. It's just, yeah, I mean, that's just me stretching it out. I could probably fit a whole nother. Yeah, it's crazy. So the personal, this is the undyed Apoca again. I know I showed this earlier. just wanted to repeat myself for if anyone jumps in like midway, but you can see the natural striations and the leather. I think that's really, really sexy. Um, and just like my own, the own blemishes that have come over time. Um, I got this April of, or March of last year. So again, probably, you know, between these three, which I haven't talked about this one yet, um, these are my favorites. Um, hands down, I just, you know, I think of like, okay, which ones are, mean the most to me? Which ones hold like so much value? Um, and I don't, I'm not talking about monetary value, I'm just talking about value. Um, I think of those, those three. All right, so in my next video, I'm going to talk about Vanderspec. Um, I do have a series of Vanderspec, Vanderspec, <laughs> Vanderspec planners. Oh my gosh, say that three times. Um, and I think it's 
it'll be neat to just go through the Vanderspeck separately and then I can do a few of um, just kind of my one-off planners that don't necessarily, um, aren't Jillian, aren't Vanderspeck, but still really special to me. Um, and ones that I think are worth talking about. So please let me know if you have any questions about the Jillio planners. I think, um, you know, this was a long time coming to kind of give you guys an update and I hope you guys have enjoyed it and let me know if you guys have any questions. All right. Thank you. Bye.